Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, four Iberian Reds, uh, two Portuguese, two, uh, no, not Riocas, two, two Spanish ones. Uh, they're both made from uh, the same grape, or ish, the same grape. Uh, but um, we'll get onto those after the two Portuguese ones. First one I've got is um, Natural, Luis ba Pato's uh, Barga Natural. No sulfur added, no yeast added, no sugar added, no acid added, no malic bacteria added, no fining, screw cap use to prevent oxidation. So let's take it off and see what it's like. Well, I don't know if you've ever been to a winery when it's um, uh, vintage time, when it's the, the time that the grapes are coming in, but it smells just like that. There's this juicy, heady, uh, violet-scented, uh, berry-rich um, headiness. Uh, it, and uh, it's, it's, I think it's a 12% alcohol. Uh, yeah, 12% alcohol. It, it smells quite a lot fuller and uh, fruitier and uh, more exuberant than that. Let's see what it tastes like. And that's just a mouthful of juicy fresh pleasure. There is this hearty, rustic in the right sense of the word, an, an earthiness, a real honest of the soil character. Um, and um, yeah, you want you want to um, you want to have uh, rather a lot of that because it's got this juiciness, freshness, lots of lovely gushing flavour and um, joyful wine. Very tasty. Whoa, hard act to follow that. Um, let's see whether as does um, Dow, their own label Dow, uh, made by that Falua Winery, 2011. Let's see how that copes. Um, and um, for me, that was natural wine at its best. The idea of natural wine, the, you, you, you might have heard the, uh, uh, the, 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 the blanket heading under which quite a lot of wines come. Uh, the idea is that uh, you don't do, you do as little to it as is possible, as, as possible in order to get a good wine into the bottle. Of course, as soon as, soon as you start saying things like that is, that, that you get, well, uh, I can do less than you, I can do less than you. Uh, and the only problem with that is uh, sometimes the less you do to it, uh, the more likely uh, you are to, uh, that the wine will suffer from a few faults on the way. Uh, sometimes the faults um, are okay and they, they fit in with the wine. Sometimes the faults are a bit too much. I, th I always think of it as... Um, well, for example, if you're a if you're a surfer and you live on the beach and you go you're in the sea several hours a day uh, and uh, and then you go for a dip and uh, swim in the evening, you probably don't need much deodorant. You, you can survive like that. Uh, if you are a student living in polyester uh, in the wilds of Rush Home, uh, then a little bit of deodorant is probably wise. If so, there are certain things that can survive with very few additions at all, but there are things that are made in other circumstances where a few additions actually stop you smelling like uh, a barnyard. Um, but um, where I think this scores uh, and uh, scores over this one in, in its naturalness uh, is here I stick my nose in and it almost feels you can taste a, a few of the processes uh, rather than uh, the things that have not been done. So uh, there's an ever so slight uh, chemical polished character. It almost feels like it's, it's been, it's a bit too clean. You may, you probably, you, know, you may even have friends whose houses are so clean and you put your, 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 you put your drink down and immediately your host approaches you with a coaster, not, hi, are you having a good time? It's like they're more concerned about their table uh, than in, than in you having a good time. Uh, here, um, I, I like the, I like the, the, the there's a, a juicy black fruit richness about it, but it just feels like someone has uh, been a little bit too uh, anxious to uh, make something that is clean uh, rather than something that is nice. It is it, not that it's not going to be nice. Well, I don't know whether it's not going to be nice. I haven't tasted it yet. I better taste it. And I like that juicy, rounded berry, licorice richness. Um, and uh, there is a yeah, there, 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 there's a touch of vanilla there too. But the the one before is just one of those unrestrained, joyful wines. Here, it it feels like there's a little bit, um, maybe a little bit too much control going on. Okay, wine, but I think. Um, and I think I'd probably have enjoyed it more if I hadn't had the Luis Pato before, but, um, hey. Um, now, on to the Spanish two. So, first one I've got is Finca Constancia, Parcella 23, Tempranillo 2011. Uh, so, these are from Vignale, it, it's, it comes under the Vino de la Tierra de Castilla um, uh, de designation. Um, and um, it's near Toledo, if you want. Spanish geographical pointers. 
rounded, rich, earthy um, berry and plum. A little bit of raspberry in there, and uh, but mostly on that blackberry side. Um, and it's got a this slightly perfumed lift to it, and maybe even a little bit of things like the citrus peel in there. It smells good. Uh, it smells. Um, it smells honest. There's a warm liveliness about that. Um, it feels. Um, I, I imagine the the, the Rioja. I think it's a bit older. Um, so that's yeah. That's why I've, why I've done it second. This is this feel. I, I think this is going to be a, a, the, the fleshier wine. Um, uh, but um, what's good about it, uh, there are some parts of Spain where um, if, you're, if you're in a warm region you sometimes get that um, slightly uh, as if the berries had started to shrivel on the, on the vines and you're, you're left with something what I call a desiccated flavour, slightly it, the fruit's lost its freshness and it just, it just dried out a little bit. Here there is a, a warmth, a bit of spice, a bit of vanilla from oak I think um, and um, yeah, just a generally nice satisfying glass of wine. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, um, I still prefer the Pato but um, that's, a, that's, that, that's also a nice glass of wine. Uh, let's see whether the final one's a nice glass of wine. This is Cune uh, Rioja 2010 Criantha. Give it a whirl. Well, it says on the back, mainly Tempranillo. It, 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 other grapes in there, it might have some um, Graziano and Mazzuelo and maybe a bit of uh, Ganacha in there. Uh, but it's, um, uh, it, it, it feels light, like it's going to be lighter, maybe a touch fresher um, than, the, uh, uh, than, than the Finger Constancia. But it doesn't feel like it's going to have that same uh, depth of fruit flavour. Uh, will it replace that with subtlety? Let's have a see. And that's a fascinating contrast because um, when you come to taste it, I was talking a, bit, a little bit about the um, the orange peel on the uh, Finca Constancia. Uh, that's one of the characters that seems to be driving the flavours. So you've got yeah a touch of these uh, red berry and a bit of plum flavours, uh, but there's this citrus freshness that is um, holding it all together and making it. One of those wines that yeah it's lighter in body than the uh, uh, Finca Constancia, uh, but. Um, does it, 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 it almost makes me want to come back and have, oh, saying, mm, yeah, I, I quite like that, I'll have, have some more of that. Um, and watching those two side by side, um, I I would be fascinated to plot them on a dinner table with uh, like four, four, five, six people and watch what people go for. Because I think people will try both and they'll like both. And some people will prefer the um, the bolder, warmer, uh, softer flavours of the Finca Constancia. Some people will prefer that uh, the more um, angular is the wrong word, but uh, fresher, um, more um, maybe more food friendly uh, uh, aspects of the uh, of the of the Cune. I like them both. I mean, they're both about the same price, and uh, it's um, for me it's testimony that um, that Spain people think oh Tempranillo Spain all tastes the same. No, it doesn't. It tastes very different. I think if we'd had a Ribera del Duero in here, that would have been different again. Um, and um, I, I, yeah, it's, it really is like on, on a certain day I'd have preferred the, uh, uh, the Cune, on a certain day I'd prefer the Finca Constancia. We're on a funny day here in, uh, uh, in the north of England where the sun's been out and there's been thunderstorms as well. So depending on which half hour you uh, catch me in, you might find me preferring one to the other. Um, for me, I still think I'd take the, uh, the Luce Pato uh, over those two, but... Um, all, the, all three of those were, were pretty good, and I think in other company the As the Dow would have uh, uh, would have uh, shown better. But um, it was okay. Hey, see you soon.